The Jenike and Johansson Laboratory in Tingsboro, Massachusetts offers many unique capabilities for testing bulk solids, including the ability to recreate almost any industrial processing condition. The laboratory is divided into several rooms, each designed to accommodate unique testing procedures and equipped with specialized testers and tools to allow for highest accuracy. The segregation test room contains a number of testers that Janike and Johansson engineers developed to measure the propensity of different materials to separate by size, shape or density. Two of these methods, sifting and fluidization, were adopted by ASTM. These types of tests are especially important for the pharmaceutical, food, chemical and metal industries to assess how segregation could impact product quality, flow or other key factors. There are several methods that can be used to measure the size of particles. A common one is with SIF analysis, where materials are put through a stack of screens that each allow particles of different sizes to pass through. For most powders, a laser diffraction analyzer is used, which has a range from 2000 to 1 micron. Particle size and shape can be determined with a microscope. An important property to determine is bulk density. This can be measured using a machine that compresses powders in the cell filled with material thereby giving density and compressibility. Permeability, meaning how easily gas moves through a bit of material, can be measured with a permeability tester. This tester analyzes the pressure drop across a cell of powder while air is permeated through a membrane in the bottom. As particles are processed through silos, hoppers and chutes, sliding friction against surfaces is an important consideration. Additionally, evaluating a material's bridging and rat rolling behaviors along with caking tendencies can be vital for handling assessments. Using the Jenike shear testers, cohesive strength and wall friction of particles against a sample of the wall material can be measured by ASTMD 6128 methods. Testing ovens aid in replicating the conditions of non-ambient processes. For materials that might be sitting for periods of time in silos and hoppers, consolidating benches can be utilized to simulate load pressures. Using these testers, it is possible to evaluate property changes over time. The Jenike wall material and coupon library stores over 800 unique samples. A massive variety of surfaces exist, from steel to refractories to synthetics. Another important machine is the sorption analyzer. Here, small quantities of powder are exposed to controlled temperature and humidity conditions to measure how fast material can absorb or release moisture to the environment. The results are described in sorption desorption isotherm curves. The environmental chamber is used to recreate temperature and humidity controlled environments on a larger scale. With specialized testers, materials can be tested efficiently in the swapping unit. Performing tests under real life handling conditions is crucial to the accuracy of material property testing. The machines in the rotational tester room are used to examine a material's shear strength using a rotational shear force. Depending on particle size and availability of materials, a smaller or larger version can be used. These devices are slightly different than the Jenike shear testers, which exert translational shear force. Often, materials have low exposure limits, need specific temperature or humidity controls, or require inert or other special atmospheres. In order to accommodate these materials, testing is conducted in a sealed glove box. The clean room has been designed to keep samples contained and technicians and engineers safe. Venneke's furnace tester was designed to test materials at temperatures up to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit or 1000 degrees Celsius. In this environment, different gases can be injected to initiate or suppress reactions the materials may be displaying at the given extreme temperatures. The facility's unique ability to duplicate almost any process or condition bulk solids may be exposed to at any stage of processing is critical for accurate results. The testing procedures that are taking place are some of the most state-of-the-art practices globally, making Jenike and Johansson a clear leader in bulk solids testing. Which material can we test for you? Get in contact with us today to find out more.